weeks ago we sat here with a salmon net and there was a family on the rocks there and there was a sealing there next to them and the children were whistling at the seal trying to get it to come close to <laughs> We didn't want the seal next to the salmon net but they, it, meant, it meant that them children day out and hopefully they'll come back to Fairley when they're adults with their children. Yeah. We've got Rory here, who's from... Which way are you from, Rory? <laughs> I'm Rory Crawford. I'm a senior policy officer for the Bread Life. Right now we're at Benton Cliffs, which is an incredible nature reserve stuffed with the seabirds on the Yorkshire coast. Um, so you take a look around, you can see some of the birds that are here. We've got northern gannets, there's 11,000 pairs. Um, and in the 70s there was just a couple of pairs, so there's been a massive increase here over the past few years. There's kittiwakes, there's guillemots, there's razor bills. All sorts of birds here, making an absolute cacophony of noise. So RSBB have uh, in the past couple of years started to work with the uh, Salmon Netsman in Filey Bay, which is just around the corner from Bempton Cliffs here. And it was an issue some years ago that, that sort of came to a head of, of bug bycatch occurring in some of the nets. And, you know, relationships were a little bit frayed at first, but over time things have, have, have certainly improved and fishermen and RSPB are working together now. Years ago, this used to be in the office every morning. We used to have to come up here and work the crab pots and sometimes further down that way we used to go salmon fishing. I've been salmon fishing all my life, from the days when I was in a nappy. What happens when we put the salmon nets in the, in the sea, the, the, the feed for what they're feeding on gets trapped next to the net and goes into a feed ball. And the problem was the birds were going through the feed ball and getting stuck in a monofilament net at the back. So what we've done now is change the net to a thick, heavy nylon net and just have a certain part of the net that we can catch the fish in and it's reduced the bird by catch. This is the team that uh, we've got together, we're all on good speaking terms now where when it first started with the bycatch catching the nets I probably chucked them all over the back of the boat. <laughs> but now as you can see we're all laughing and cheerful, we knew we've got a problem and the things that we've sorted out between the three of us and it, are going worldwide in the different nets as well. Well, fishermen know nature very well. They, they spend time at sea, they're among it, they see the seabirds, they see the fish, they understand the connectivity of ecosystems, maybe in a different way from a scientist, but they understand it. And fishermen understand their gear as well, so if you want to try and solve problems, whatever that may be, in this case bycatch, you need to speak to fishermen, you need to understand the technical aspects of their gear, uh, and they've got a good understanding of how to solve those problems, so you need to work with fishermen, well, absolutely, that's the way it has to work. When you come up here and see something like this, and you see the wildlife and the bird life up here, it makes you think that you should look after it more so the future generations can benefit to see what I'm seeing today. Thank you. 